Welcome to your new Epson projector. It is very similar to other projectors you might have been seen out in your classrooms around different schools, but there are some unique differences to this one. So we're going to show you some of them. First of all, it has a home screen like this that shows all the ports. You notice that we have two active right now. HDMI 1 is what you would normally plug into with an HDMI cable and a USB. HDMI 2 is where we put our Chromecast. So if you want to be wireless, that's the way you're going to go to. We're going to plug in first and show you this one. So by clicking on the port, and it gives you a preview of what we're actually looking at on our screens, we bring it up full screen. There's a couple things we want to show you. We'll start with the interactivity. So we have a pen, and the pen works as an ink layer sometimes, or as an interactive mouse. If you're plugged in with an HDMI and a USB cable, then over here, you have interactivity indicated on. That means we can interact with our screen now. So if I switch and go to a different tab like this, it's gonna take us there. That's our interactive function. It's very simple, works just like that, just like your mouse. Now, if I wanted to actually switch this to a pen, I have to turn off my interactive mode, which I'll do here. And now you'll notice that a whole pen tray came up for me to use. So now I can go in, I'll choose blue, make sure I'm on a pen, and I'll choose this one. And we'll go ahead and interact with our screen now. So now, just like you had a marker, you can interact with your screen. You can also undo the last thing you did by selecting that. You can also use an eraser and erase things. You can also get rid of everything that's on there and it'll prompt you to do that. One of the interesting things about the Epson that the others don't have is that it actually treats its ink as objects. So let me put another object up. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna grab a circle and we're gonna put a circle on the screen. We have a, a selection tool here and I can select something like that and now you can see it's treating it like an object which means I can move it, I can resize it, I can rotate and since it's novel you can see that and I can change the properties about this. Also if you're used to using smart boards you can do things like duplicate and I can make a, a duplicate of it. I can also make a copy, post over here, paste and make a copy of an object. So it has a few features in there like that. It's pretty straightforward to use. Now, since you've got your pen active and you're in an interactive lesson with your class, first of all, let me clear that. You may want to be taking notes as you go. So this board actually offers that. So if I go into the whiteboard, which is down here, it looks like a little whiteboard. It's going to bring me up a panel on the side. Right now it's colored black. That's why it looks that way. Again, our pens work with this, so we're just going to here. So I'm going to clear that again. And now I can write notes over on this side with my pens. I can change colors and I can change backgrounds. So if I go in here, right now we're set to black, well, we could go black lines. We could go green. So you can change things on this side. Here you can also change the zoom of this. So if we go in here with that plus, it looks like a magnifying glass, we can actually change the zoom. So if you need larger grids or things like that, you can actually change that with your zoom. So we'll go like that. Maybe you wanna take over the whole screen because this is too small. You can grab this line in the middle here and it'll get a little white bar there. You can take over your whole screen and now you have a full size whiteboard. By coming over here and we have a chair in the middle here, you can grab this again and when you get that white line, you know, you can take it. Now I'm going to take it all the way to here, but you're going to see it's, it's going to disappear if you do that. I'll bring it back. It'll only go so far. So I'm going to show you. It goes to about a third. So I'm going to bring it here and drop it. That's kind of the smallest you can get for a whiteboard. Um, I can also add pages and remove them in here. So let's say I wanted a new page. I get a new whiteboard page. I can also remove that with the X here. And I can go back and forth with these arrows now because there's more than one page. So let's say I don't want that one anymore. I just click X and it goes away. If I need to get back or close this, I can get rid of my whiteboard and my notes by clicking here. It brings me back to this. 
So we've done our PC activity basic interface. But let's say I want to go to my Chromecast now and I don't want to be locked down by my cables anymore. I go back home. When I'm home, I can see all my ports and my connectivity. I can go up here and click HDMI 2. Now I'm on my Chromecast screen. So that means I can be mobile, take my laptop or my Chromebook, either will work. Same for the interactivity. And I get a tab by default when I do that. That's the view I have right now. This says PC interactivity is on because I still have that other screen plugged in. So if I want my pen to come up, I'm gonna turn it off here and I'm gonna get my pen layer back. So I'm gonna show you some tricks with that again that I haven't shown you. So right now I have a pen and I have blue so I can highlight things. Let's say I didn't have that screen up. If I click this arrow way at the right, I can get rid of that. But on my pen, there's one little button and if I click it near the screen, I get my pen interface again. So I can reuse that, I can change colors and I can use that again. If I want that pen tray back, click the arrows and you get it back. I can now clear that up. And that's the basics.